Hi everyone, I hope you're well. I feel a little weird starting this video because I've not sat down and filmed for a long time. I've been enjoying myself a little bit too much so far this festive season and had a few hangovers so filming's kind of been put on hold a couple of Saturdays but I've got a day of work today um, and I thought I'd better get my shit together and do some filming. So I've got a ASOS and Pretty Little Thing haul and I'm not sure when I'm going to actually film and upload over the Christmas period because I don't know when you guys are going to want to watch things, whether you're obviously busy on holiday, enjoying family, having an amazing Christmas and New Year, but obviously comment below if there is anything you want to see from me or when you want to watch your videos. I've got Brody here with me today. I thought I would just sit and chill in the living room upstairs. It's a little bit of a mess with wrapping and sorting stuff out, so I'm just going to sit and chill. I am also even in a pyjama top, so I mean, that does define chilling and I've got a cup of tea. Um, this is from Next, it's a new silk wrap pyjama top but I love to wear pyjama tops as shirts anyway so it's a really nice versatile piece in your wardrobe. I feel like I'm not going to get much done with you here distracting me, my little pumpkin. But I've got a big massive bag from the Little Thing and I also have a rather large ASOS back here as well. So we've got both of these to get through. I haven't actually opened either of these bags yet. So I'm gonna open them first and then I will try them on. So I'll either just do inserts of me wearing them or I will do all the trying on at the end, but we'll sort that out when we come to everything. So I'm gonna delve in with the ASOS bag first. Quite a lot of monochrome pieces standard for me, more black and well, more black and then I have some shoes. I start with these first, they're basically two of the same shoes because I really want some more bands old school and that's the reason why I went on ASOS in the first place and I wanted the plain black pair but they're pretty much sold out everywhere and hard to get a hold of but they did have this pair as well. It's like the classic black pair but then we have a brown rubber detail bit on the front of the sole so it's pretty much identical to the all black except we've got a little bit of the brown rubber here which might be a good thing because I tend to get my trainers quite dirty so that's hopefully not going to pick up as much dirt but with bands I'm unsure of my sizing so I ordered two sizes. I ordered a seven and a half and then also an eight. I am an eight but my last bands are seven and a half and they do actually just fit so I kind of find that vans are maybe a little bit larger fitting, so rather than get a pair and not fit and be disappointed, I just ordered both of them. So they're the first things, they were about £55, but everything will be linked in the description box below. I just think vans are so cool, they're effortless, they go with any look, because it's a black and white trainer and it's got pretty much flat sole, and if they get dirty and messy, it doesn't actually matter because that adds to the cool fact that they're a little bit like Converse. So if you want a new pair of, you know, flat, trainers, something that can be casual or even you can jazz them up, then definitely need a pair of bands. Something else I also feel like I'm lacking in my wardrobe at the moment is skirts and dresses. I've been going to the gym again recently and I've been doing leg days, arm days, cardio. I'm feeling a lot more confident about the shape of my legs so I wanted to add a few more skirts and dresses to my wardrobe because I'm also really into over the knee boots as well and personally I think they look better with a dress or a skirt rather than over jeans so I just went for plain black and white printed pieces because I do love a pattern and a little bit of colour but at the moment I've kind of been you know, going off and getting a bit sick of them. So if I stick with black and white, I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. The first one was a star print wrap dress. This is a very, sorry, everything is falling off my knees and making loads of noise, but this is a very Reformation style dress. And it is quite sheer, so it's quite a thin material, but I mean, I'd be wearing tights with it. I would layer a chunky cardigan over the top of it or a jumper. And we have got like a frill crossover bit. But what I liked about this one is at the back, there's also a cutout bit here at the back, which is quite sassy. And the reason I went for black and white as well is I wanted dresses that I could wear with my vans. So I'll probably wear vans and fishnet tights with them. And I haven't got any prices on, but like I said, I'll leave it linked in the description well below. I think I went for a tall one in this, so it's perhaps a little bit longer um, on the leg because I think they do petite, normal and long lengths in this dress, but I will leave all options linked below. What have we got? I've actually got some knitwear. 
What is this? Uh, you know when you order things online and then they come and you forget what you ordered because I mean these have been sitting in my room for a few days. And the next one is a jumper dress. Something else that I think is just comfortable and essential for autumn winter, especially because I can wear what I like to the office. So I normally tend to like to wear jeans and comfy top trainers, but there's nothing more snuggly than feeling like you're wearing pyjamas at work. So I wanted to find a new jumper dress that wasn't too tight and too clingy, just something that's comfortable. And I came across this black dress. I didn't think it was navy online, but black dress. And then we've got a sporty stripe down the side, which is pink, burgundy and white. Again, I thought this would work really well with the fans. It's just a really long midi dress. Hopefully it's comfortable and flattering, but we shall see what that's like when it's on. And the stripe is also at the bottom of the dress as well and there's a little bit of a slit so rather than feeling like you're wearing a bin bag hopefully it'll have a little bit of shape and because of the slit it might make it casually sexy as well. Moving on to another tea dress, another printed one and another monochrome one. I think I saw both of these dresses and I wasn't sure which I'd prefer so of course but I want to both and give them both a try and then me I'll probably like them both and keep them both but Never mind. So this one is more of a cotton material. The last dress felt a bit like chiffon, you know, that kind of see-through material. This just feels like a t-shirt, a cotton comfy t-shirt material. It is black and white polka dots and it is just your classic wrap over dress with the frills down the chest, long sleeves, got a little bit of flared, flareage going on at the bottom. And then also it's like a asymmetric style hem at the bottom where it comes up at the front so you can have like a little not a flash of leg but you know it's very flattering it goes a little bit lower at the back because you bum a bit more and we've got all these frills and this feels so comfortable so that is probably going to be a winner for wearing to work then last but not least i think it's another jumper dress so that mission was basically vans tea dress jumper dress black and white tick all boxes and it is a rib knit black dress so doesn't feel the most amazing quality to be honest, but the shape is pretty much the same as the last one. So it's just a cowl neck, we've got a thick rib knit pattern, we've got long sleeves again, it goes down, it's a midi dress, and again at the bottom there's also a little bit of slit going on here, but you can't really see that on camera, but we'll see that when I try it on. This one feels thicker, but the other one feels like nicer. <laughs> like I said, we'll see when we get on. This is just basically a chatty, rambly video for me today because I just haven't sat on film for a while and it feels a little bit weird. Now, I'm going to move on to opening the Pretty Little Thing bag before I go try things on. And it is a pretty big bag. Um, I'm actually working with Pretty Little Thing over on my Instagram at the moment, which is at Charlotte Buttrick. So, all the ASOS items I bought myself and I was kindly given a £100 voucher to spend on the website for Pretty Little Thing. Went a little bit over that, I think I spent about £140 so I did spend a little bit of my money as well. And yeah, again some more skirts, a couple of t-shirts. I know you want to see what's in this bag rather than me rambling on about it. So let's get into the Pretty Little Thing part of all. I'm going to actually start with the colour this time, so it's not all monochrome in this haul. I've really been into French Parisian style lately, like laid back, cool, effortless, minimal. So obviously I'm loving stripes and red has really been standing out to me at the moment. I know obviously it is a big colour for the season, but I actually do really love it surprisingly. I even to work the other week I wore a red and white striped top, a bright red lip. Ben who I sit next to was like, ooh, you look very youthful today, very Taylor Swift. So if a colour is gonna make me look younger than I am, then I'm going to wear more of it. So I've bought some more red for my wardrobe. The first is a red cord mini skirt. It's just A-line. We've got some zip detail going on here. I'm not 100% sure on the sizing for Pretty Little Thing. I did just buy my size, which is a UK tent. Hopefully it will fit. And yeah, I just thought that this would look really cute with over the knee boots, probably some fishnet tights. Probably should look for a red beret as well. But to go with this skirt, I picked out a striped top. Let's get into it. And it is just a plain t-shirt, but obviously I've gone for long sleeves with it being autumn winter. And it's just a basic red and white striped top. I thought that those two would just be really cute together. It's quite a statement. I mean, might look like a Christmas elf, so possibly it is an outfit for Christmas day as well. But those are the first two items. As with all the ASOS pieces, I will leave everything from Pretty Little Thing linked down below. I should actually also have a 30% 
discount code. So I will leave my 30% discount code for pretty little thing down there as well. So you can go and grab yourself a discount if anything catches your eye. But on to the next. Right, so I've got three more things to show you. Two which cardigans, more knitwear, obviously it was more to appropriate. And the next is the vanity. I absolutely love band t-shirts, I just think again they're so cool, effortless chic. This will look amazing with my bands, a pair of my favourite Topshop high waisted jeans that you see in all of my videos and I went for a Pink Floyd t-shirt. I did size up so it is pretty big but it's Pink Floyd t-shirt, I thought I'd go for the whole you know wearing my boyfriend's t-shirt look. It actually feels really nice and soft, my dad is a big fan of Pink Floyd saying that I think he is, but um, yeah, just thought super cool, effortless, throw it on with a pair of jeans, ready to go, and something I saw, and I didn't know if I was to be excited by it or afraid of it, and looking at it in the package, it looks like it's an item that I should be cleaning the house with and mopping the floor with, but I'll just show you, it's an absolute beast of a cardigan, and look at this, this is absolutely like crazy, yeti, scary, massive amazingness in a cardigan slash jacket. You would literally just look like the coolest yeti in this. It feels so soft, so it'd be like walking around in a blanket. It is pretty much molting all over the floor though, so possibly won't be good to wear with black, but Brody would absolutely love this. I'm into the whole shaggy cardigan vibe. It's just cool again. Like, I keep saying cool and effortless. Can you tell that that's like what I'm really into at the moment? But yeah, love this. They've got some shorter ones on the site, but they're pretty much sold out. So I've got my eye on a black and white shorter cardigan that hopefully will be back in stock. On to the last one, last but not least, just another cardigan. Again, because I've ordered dresses, I want to maybe like wear a shorter dress with a longer line cardigan over the top of it with my over the knee boots. So I just went for this grey one. It is a super, super long maxi cardigan. It's also got a huge slit in it as well. It doesn't have any buttons on the front, so I tend to find buttons can make things look cheap. So that's always a good thing. And you could always, you know, tie a belt around if you wanted to keep your waist in. And again, just something to easily throw on so I can get up from work in the morning, put a dress on, put a cardigan on, put some boots on and then get myself out of the door. Right, so first of all I've put the bands on. I haven't bothered tying them up but on this foot I have my seven and a half and then on this side I have the eight and to be honest there's not masses of difference. I feel like in the size seven and a half my toe I've got like a little finger's worth of space in the front and then these size eights, I've probably got like a full thumb. So it depends what type of socks you like wearing with them. Uh, with them, I prefer no socks. So actually, I don't really know which ones to keep. There isn't much in it. So you'd probably be half size down or your own size in advance. The first dress I've got in is a star print dress. I picked up in a size 10. It actually feels really comfortable. It's a really good fit. I've got quite long arms and it actually fits in the arms as well. And then we've got this lovely little cut out detail bit here at the back. I love the frills, it makes it super girly. It's quite long at the back to be fair, which is great because it covers my veins that I've spoken about before. And then like I said at the front, it flaps over, it's a little bit shorter and it just feels really comfortable. It's something that I could wear all day in work. I wouldn't be conscious it's too short or too clingy. And I also have it popped on with my bands as well, which looks pretty cool because it's like girly, juxtaposed with like skater and sporty and yeah absolutely love that. This is the second of the two tea dresses from ASOS and this is a little bit too short for me really. I mean it's not short short but it is like mini and obviously you've got this slit here so bear that in mind if you're also a tall girl like me on the back five foot eight and a half and this is my problem that I normally have with sleeves. I've got long arms and they're just a little bit too short and although this was the comfier material of the two when I was looking at them the other one actually feels nicer on and obviously because it's um, like a cotton t-shirt material if the frills were to flop about you're going to see you know white but you can see on the wrist as well so although I do love the polka dots of it for me it's just a little bit too short and the other one feels a bit nicer and more expensive on. I've come straight back so you can see the length of this one and this is the first of the jumper dresses. We've got the stripe detail, 
from the way down the arm and then again from the slit here. Quite like where the slit starts because it adds a little bit of you know movement to it rather than you having the bin bag scenario. I have got the vans on with it if you can see them. I think it's just like a really cool laid back look. It's super comfy, just like ignore the fact that I don't have a brown at the moment, but this definitely fits, it feels nice, fits on the shoulders, so that again is a size 10, so I just went for my usual size, and yeah, I could definitely see myself wearing this to the office and literally just sitting there in front of my computer, so comfy all day. On to the second of the two jumper dresses, this one actually has a slit on both sides, just realised the other one only had a slit on one. Um, it doesn't feel as comfortable on, but it does feel a little bit more clingy. Maybe just because it's just plain black, it's, I don't know, I like the stripes on the other one, I think it adds a little bit of something, although if you're just looking for like a plain mini black jumper dress that you can lay things on top of, even if maybe just for lounging around in housing, then yeah, this is pretty nice as well. I um, can't remember the price, but the other one does feel a little bit better quality. There's a little bit of like, funny bits of hem there on the side, and there seems to be some pink thread in it as well, or a spot of bleach, I'm not really sure what that is, but yeah, it doesn't feel as nice quality as this one, but you know, if you're after something affordable that's a jumper dress, it's not really that bad. Moving on to Pretty Little Thing, the two pieces that I wanted to pair together, I am obsessed with how bright this red is picking up on the camera. The skirt is in a 10 my usual size, it actually fits on the waist, but annoyingly, it puffs out a little here, so if you see this little bit of extra seam there, so it maybe makes my hips look a little bit bigger than they are. So I'm actually probably going to swap this for a size down. So if you're considering trying the sizes, you might be a size down in the bottoms and then the top, which is 10, fits me perfectly. And a little bit like, where's Wally? <laughs> Where it is? But yeah, I absolutely love these two together, but I probably will swap the skirt for a size smaller. The skirt also comes in a black as well. Now I feel like I just need a red beret, red lip and I'm good to go. And then I've got on the pink Floyd t-shirt, like I said, I went a size up to make it a bit more oversized, so it's a little, like a boyfriend fit. I have got fluff from all over the cardigan on it already, whoops, but I'm just throwing it on over that pod skirt and I've got my bands on again with it at the bottom because it works pretty well with the black and the white and the red and the bands also have fluff in as well, so this cardigan I'm about to show you is very fluffy. First of the cardigans, and not fluffy beast, is the grey one, which I've just zoomed out so you can see it's super long, it's got a slit from the side here, so it's just great for throwing on over shorter dresses and skirts, and like I said, you could always, you know, belt it up at the waist if you wanted to make it look a little bit more fitted. I mean, it doesn't feel like, oh my god, amazing soft quality, but you get what you pay for, don't you? And if you're just looking for something to quickly throw on, then yeah, it's, it's pretty plain, chic and affordable. Then the one you've been waiting for, the big fluffy beast. I can literally see bits flying off as I'm like doing this with my arms, but it is so worth it. It literally is the comfiest thing ever. I feel like I'm just walking around in a blanket. It's full on like, got teddy vibes, got yeti vibes, got you know faux fur, but it's not because it's kind of, if you actually look at it, it's like a knitted blanket because we've got all holes in it here as well but it just looks so cool and you can stick your thumbs through it, you can stick all your fingers through it but I don't know if you see already this t-shirt is pretty much covered in fluff so I don't know if maybe I need to give it you know a once over with some sellotape first or something but yeah it just feels really warm, really cool and I mean looking like he at his in is it not? So that is everything in my ASOS and pretty little thing haul. Sorry if it's a little bit too chatty for you do you like chatty videos? Do you prefer if I literally just shut up and show the clothes? I don't know, let me know. Obviously it's the new year, I'm trying to put more of me into my videos, so hopefully with them being a little bit more personable and chatty, you might like that kind of thing, I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Also yeah, let me know about Christmas if you want any uploads from me, if there's anything you want to see. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I mean, I feel like I've chatted my way through this whole video and. Now I need to go and drink some water, but thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, I would love it if you subscribed. Hopefully I'll see you in the new year. And there might even be some new videos before then anyway, but with the state of my hangovers recently, it might not be very likely. What a disgrace, but never mind. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in my next video, whenever that may be. <laughs> Bye.